what's going on everybody and welcome to another episode and in today's video i'm going to be checking out chrome industries nyko camera sling bag so let's go ahead and get started all right you guys so here we have the camera sling bag so this is the biggest sling bag that i currently own and i was interested in checking this one out simply because it was a bit larger than what i currently have and i like the look of it the design of it looked pretty good but it didn't look too big for me so let's go ahead and start with the exterior of the bag and then we'll work our way towards the inside of the bag here on the outside we have brandon on the front and we have chrome their badge now this is the first one i'm checking out from chrome industries so not too much but it is there and it's very much visible um if you are familiar with it then you're definitely going to spot it so um i'm kind of you know i'm okay with that it adds a little bit more style and gives it a little bit of a lifestyle design than just a bland overall look in my opinion so the buckles are traditional and you get your uh click buckles right here um i do like the stripes design on the straps so it also gives this two-tone color with a dark gray with the black Okay, so we're gonna check out the material on the label and see what all is used for this bag. And I should mention this is the 2.0 version. This bag is water resistant, so it should take some splashes or some rain, and you should be fine with uh, protecting your gear. Of course, I wouldn't say, you know, that the bag can be drenched. But yeah, getting back to the outside here, we have two zippers across the top. Now we get some zipper attachments here with some small zippers. Zipper attachments, you can tend to open up the bag a bit easier. This is kind of like a nylon style here. Um, It's okay, you know, it's not high quality of material that was used. Something simple um, for this design, in my opinion. But looking at the front here, it has some, it has like a little pattern going on, which I do like. On the front here, we looking at the stitching for the front cover of the pocket. I do like the stitching and I don't see any unraveling on the threads here. I'm gonna try to give you a good side view of this bag because it's so large. I'm gonna try to fit as much in the frame as possible. But on the side here, you get a adjustment strap so you can adjust the bag to how much you carry. Now, with this being a five liter bag, um, that is gonna be a decent amount of stuff that you can carry, but not a lot. You definitely can hold quite a bit and still adjust the bag if needed. That adjustment strap is gonna be on the other side of the bag as well. So one more thing I wanted to mention about the bottom straps here. So you could attach a small accessory here, maybe a small tripod. Um, I wouldn't say anything large, but something small, lightweight, should be able to fit through these two bottom straps here. So carrying this bag in your hand is definitely possible. And I like this handle a lot. It's actually pretty thick and very comfortable. It's also loose enough to grab easily. So you don't feel like you have to struggle to get your fingers underneath the handle. Within the stitching of the handle is pretty nice. Towards the back here, um, you get a hidden pocket. So this zipper also includes a zipper attachment. Now here you can slide several different things in here. I will do a demonstration of what all I can fit into this bag and what I normally carry. So I'll definitely show you guys what I would put in here. You have a nice zipper closure. And from what I can tell, the seam is closed up pretty good. So you shouldn't have to worry about anything like water seeping through and possibly damaging any items that you have in this pocket. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the strap. This strap right here is a traditional strap here. You got your belt buckle style, kind of like, your, you know, something you would see in the car. And, you know, that's pretty standard. It comes out to be quite long. So they used a little cardboard piece to keep the buckle together, which is, you know, for packaging as well. Um, you also get a D-ring on this side, so you can definitely use a carabiner to attach something else to this D-ring right here. Definitely can adjust this as well. If you need to adjust the strap accordingly to your body type, then you have these two on the end to adjust that. Now, behind those, you get a little elastic band to manage the straps when you 
possibly release this and extend it out then you're gonna have kind of like you know flaps all over the place and flopping around you and for me i find that a little bit annoying because it makes me feel like i'm all over the place so i like that they include these elastic bands so that way you can manage the strap um, a little bit better you get your tag right here um, lifetime guarantee capacity of five liters again nyco camera sling right here at the bottom water resistant coated zipper pocket and it is reflective so if you decide to carry this bag at night then it should give off some reflection so people are able to see you open it up um capture the city you get some uh information a little you know quick description here about the bag photography is an art that shows individual personality in the world around us the back here you get some more information about the lifetime warranty so if you decide to purchase this bag definitely read over that right here is your sticker that you can peel off and you can Put it on to like a tumbler or a cup or something or a mug so that's pretty nice that it has been included now we're going to talk about the price of this bag um towards later in the video once we go over everything and see is it really worth it all right so unbuckling these two straps right here i will say they are a little tough they are very stiff now that is a good thing because you want to make sure that the buckles don't unlock or unbuckle and your things can be potentially exposed or you know you can risk some idols in the front being stolen without your knowing so you know that is a good point however if you don't have strong fingers or you know you tend to prefer more of a easier clamp you might just want to keep that in mind because these are pretty strong but i can understand the protection side of it just something to note for you so here underneath the flap, we get a zipper and a little pouch here, and you can slide things inside this pocket. So if you have items that need to be uh, quickly accessed, this will be a go-to spot. With that, I like how you do get a zipper cover right here. You can hide the zipper, and that way that also helps with security. All right, you guys, so here is the inside of the bag. This is a pretty deep bag now i will say with the dividers you can always remove dividers uh, with the velcro attachment and this one they pretty much just threw them in here um so you can readjust them if you need to definitely fit those dividers according to the gear that you carry so inside here we have some nice cushioning and padding for your gear so on this side of the divider you probably want to put a camera um, right here and you're going to put your lenses in these individual divider compartments i'm probably going to keep it as is for the demonstration of this video and for the most part i don't carry too much of a crazy gear i have a light setup so this should work for me but i'm going to readjust the dividers to make them look a little bit better um, other than that that's pretty much it i will say i'm a little disappointed in that's all i was looking for maybe an extra little back compartment that you can slide something else in but again that's me and this is just the first look at it but yeah that's it it's simple straight to the point let's talk about the velcro and the dividers two of the dividers here for me the velcro is just not strong at all you can easily pull this out and you know make your adjustments of course but i like a stronger velcro but right out the box this is what you get. And I'm just not that much of a fan of how weak the Velcro is. If you don't like strong Velcro because you like to adjust your bag quickly, then this may work for you. It's definitely not a deal breaker in my opinion. Padding on the dividers here is pretty thick and simple. Now for me, when it comes to padding for dividers, I don't like them to be too thick because it makes it a little difficult to put your gear in and kind of make sure it all fits well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some things in this bag right here and I will be right back. All right, you guys, so I am back. And before we get started to see what I have packed on the inside of this camera sling bag, I'm gonna talk about just how well it stands up on its own. So I wanted to mention this because it is a factor to some people and it does play a, a role in making a decision. I guess that is pretty good about this bag. It holds its form and I just like how well it just 
sits up and stands up on its own. So starting with the front here, we're gonna jump into the buckles and see what I have in the front pocket. If you wanted to carry a small tripod here, it is possible. You just will have to make some adjustment to these straps. As you constantly unbuckle these, they do loosen up. I noticed that this is the third time I've unbuckled or unfastened these, and they're getting to be a little bit easier. Now, one thing I'm gonna go ahead and tell you is that five liters, it, yeah, it's five liters. Like, I felt like I couldn't stretch the bag out much, but for the demonstration of the video, I'm gonna keep it simple. I don't think the straps would do much of a difference. Just me, like, loosening them up it doesn't do anything. The bag is pretty stiff and the material is pretty stiff itself. It won't give a lot of room to carry more things. So going to the front pocket here, I just have some extra caps. So I have a body cap and a rear cap here, just in case you wanna carry some extra caps. Relatively, the stuff that I carry is pretty small. I have a battery and you guys know i have to include my sd card and my micro sd card cases they are just always easy to use for demonstrations so i drop these in here in case you don't have a storage case where you keep your sd cards in or your micro sd cards in so you can always drop these in there and access them whenever you need it yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for the front pocket. Okay, moving towards the top here. I really appreciate how the top design of this bag is. Although you will have to hold this up when you're trying to access your gear, it won't just stay open for you. Now that can be a good or bad thing. It just all depends for you. Um, you know, so if you get distracted or you're doing something and you, you know, you need to take a picture or whatever, you're speaking to someone at that time, this flap is gonna close back down to protect your gear. But getting back to the inside of this bag, so we're gonna start from the left and work our way towards the right. In the left side of the bag, I have my camera. So I have my Fuji SS10, and this camera is just small enough to fit in this compartment right here on this side of the divider. Now, you may have a bigger setup, so that's gonna definitely require you to make some adjustments to the dividers. So I have this camera in there with the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. And you know, it's perfect. I like how I can keep this lens attached. So just notice that the cap was off. Okay, so let me go ahead and mention that. It is a tight fit, but it is possible. Um, I do like how I can keep the lens on the body and one of the things that I typically find a little bit difficult to do in my other sling bags is I have to detach the lens from the camera body or I just can't carry a lot if I wanna keep the lens on the camera body. Just something to mention. In the middle here, I have a dust blower or rocket blower, but of course this is gonna be for, you know, blowing that dust out of the lens and the sensors and stuff. Also have my rain cover so pretty much i just keep this with me at all times because it rains a lot and uh right now it's actually snowing so i use this today and this is just how vital this is for my setup and i always keep it in my bag at all times i can also slide it in one of the pockets just have to find a way to make sure everything fits nicely now i got the 15 to 45 millimeter lens and this lens is just compact enough to go anywhere. I have it sitting on top of this lens right here, which is the Viltros 23 millimeter F1.4. I thought this was pretty neat how I was able to fit these lenses into one compartment or one slot without any issues. This lens is so compact that it's so hard to not carry it. And this lens is also compact here. Um, I'm actually working on a review for this lens, so stay tuned for the Viltros 23 millimeter F1.4. Overall, I like how these two lenses can fit in one compartment. So next, we have the mini LED light from Ulanzi. Here I have my wrist strap. So here is the uh, SD card or micro SD card case that I was talking about earlier. And this one is the JJC one that I purchased a while ago. This one slides well into 
this little small compartment right here. The reason why this slides perfectly and I really couldn't fit anything else is because, because I have the Sigma 35 millimeter F1.4 in this back compartment right here. This is for my Sony AC400. So this is E-mount. So typically I won't carry this, but for the demonstration of the video, I thought I can show you a lens of this size and how well it will fit into this particular sling bag right here. If you carry a lot of larger lens, I would say you may can top out round three, um, depending on the size of your camera body and the sizes of those other lenses. One of the things I wanted to check out and see if, if you can fit a telephoto lens inside this camera bag. And if you look at the size of this bag and match it up with this size of lens, then I really think you can carry your camera and you can carry a telephoto lens. Now, of course, you're gonna make a huge sacrifice with carrying a lens of this size. So just keep that in mind, but it is possible. You just may not be able to carry additional lenses. All right, you guys, so here is the back pocket. I almost forgot about this pocket here. So in the back, I didn't include much because it was just such a tight fit, but I dropped in a USB cable to use for a SSD drive. Now you may have that in a separate bag or whatever, but I thought I'd show you how well it could fit into this back pocket here. Now you probably can carry a few other smaller items in the back, but um, just keep in mind that that may be compromised by what you have on the inside of the bag with your gear. With that being said, so I know some of you may ask, can you fit something like an iPad or a tablet in here? Um, personally, I wouldn't try it simply because on the inside, it's just so much padding and it's deep, but it's not that deep and it's not that wide enough, depending on the size of that tablet, of course. Um, but for any size, even a small one, like an iPad mini, um, it's gonna be pretty tough. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind if you're trying to carry something like that to transfer your photos over. Just probably either just use your phone like I normally would. For example here, um, I will also drop this in the back pocket uh, for use because this is the best way to transfer photos to my phone. So one more thing I wanted to mention to you guys that I do plan on using this bag a lot um, for the next few weeks or so. So pretty much this bag um, covers quite a bit, hopefully, you were able to determine if this bag would work for you and fit it to your rotation. Now, this bag is a sling bag and it's also a waist bag. So you can wear it across your body or you can wear it around your waist. And for $120 USD, this bag is on the pricey side in my opinion. I wish it was a little bit less. So maybe around, I'll say $90 will be the sweet spot for this bag. Definitely on the top out end of $100. That's where it would top out for me. So again, for 120 currently at the time of this video, I don't think it's a terrible price, but that is something to keep in mind because you know it is a lot of money to spend on one bag. And of course you have to make that purchase according to your budget. So hopefully you guys um, found this video very helpful to you and answer several questions. But if I didn't cover anything that you guys you still have questions about, then definitely leave those in the comments and hopefully I can answer those um, to the best of my ability. And you guys already know the drill. Definitely hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for more videos. And while you're down there in that area, if you could go ahead and hit that thumbs up button um, to like this video. If you know someone that's interested in the Chrome's Industry Nyko Camera Sling Bag 2.0, then share the video with them. Hopefully it helps them as well. All right, you guys. So with all that being said, I will catch you in my next video. Peace.